Hey everybody, um, maybe you noticed at the end of my last uh, little segment, <clears throat> I was talking about these uh, black dot heads and I uh, made a statement that these are the most polarizing drum heads in rock and roll. <laughs> well, what I mean by that is um, people either love them or they hate them. Um, but they're uh, very interesting and they do do a very specific thing. Um, there's a certain kind of a thwack to them that's quite a bit different than other drum heads. Uh, you know, it, it it's um, associated with uh, so many records um, that I love, you know, that were kind of made in the um, early 70s. Um, you know, there weren't a lot of choices on drum heads. You know, you had uh, Diplomat and Ambassador and Emperor. Um, and you had those coded or clear, basically, as a batter head. And then you had the black dots and you had, Ludwig had the silver dots as well. But, um, you know, they kind of do, they kind of do a certain thing. Uh, and some people love them or hate them. That's what was on the kit, um, the last um, video that I had that I was playing. And, um, but I'm gonna change them out and I'm gonna put on um, what is my favorite Tom head, which is the Remo Ambassador X coded. Um, and it'll be interesting to see if you guys can hear the difference in what, um, what the head uh, does. You know, that's the thing, you know, I don't want to use terms of like, something is better, um, that, you know, things just are what they are, you know, and, and um, do you want a particular sound or a particular feel to your drum head and learning what that is and, and, and how to manipulate it? Because you got to manipulate them all, right? You, you've got to learn how to tune whatever head you have and you have to learn how to muffle whatever head you, that you have. Uh, there's no there's no other way about it. <clears throat> Unless you're in a band and, and you can kind of just do whatever you want and no one else really cares or can tell you what to do. But um, so maybe as a little before and after and I'm hoping this works. I've sort of set up a perimeter mic and hopefully this won't distort when I do this, but so this is the before. So this is with the black dot on, obviously, you can see. And uh So yeah, there's that and then hopefully in a second I will figure out how to edit over to um the next bit uh, you know this will be a little awkward as I do this but uh, I will get good at it you just watch stand by all right everybody I, I just uh, <clears throat> just took the time to go ahead and loosen all of these um, or change this out without you having to watch all of that It'd be pretty boring I would think but um, you know just remove this uh, these are die cast hoops on here and just remove this black dot head over there and then the process for putting on a new head for me um, I usually take it and uh, just kind of stretch it out a little bit break the glue or whatever that is I'm assuming it's glue um, and just kind of break it in and then uh, you know when I can I try to line up um, there's always a little um, little joint to every head where the where the uh, metal collar matches uh, comes together I don't know if you guys can see that but uh, occasionally I'll try to line that up right under a uh, you know so that the pressure point is right under one of the tuning rods um, I think
think it kind of adds a little consistency to um, to the head um, as far as like staying in tune and and then actually at even in getting in tune I think it's better to to have that lined up with the uh, with the lug and the and the rod there <coughs> first thing I do is I finger tighten these bad boys I can figure out how to speed up this part of the video I'll do that for you guys okay so I try to get these finger tight but sometimes in with rims mounts you, you, you need to use a key to even get a finger tight um, when you're kind of dealing with these um, the rubber grommets um, especially in these these original uh, rims mounts which are these all stainless steel ones the newer ones are uh, aluminum or aluminium depending upon where you're from um, I prefer uh, the, the, these are um, much tougher um, and I just you know I think they kind of look cooler but um, so <clears throat> I've got this uh, finger tight and um, so I just kind of go around the drum uh, it's a good thing to put a little pressure in the middle of the head like I'm doing there so that one side isn't more lopsided than the other while you're breaking it in and uh, you can hear the head start to crack a little bit and I just try to get to a place of where it's on you know no particular uh, pitch yet I, you guys can really hear the thing breaking in but that's really more than anything that's what I'm trying to do at this point just get it broken in sounds pretty high but again you know it is still breaking in try to get get it all loosened Even right there, um, even though I, I still have some fine tuning to do, but you can hear the difference in what um, what this uh, coated Ambassador X does. You can probably hear the kind of uh, top end, what I call frosty tone. Again, it's still a little bit out of tune, but you'll hear the. Um, final product of how I have them tuned once I have the rest of the kit done. All right, see you in a second.